what you want to do is well first i've made this new verse device which is called custom image device and and when i go in here you can see now we have this new assets.digest.verse when you create your new verse file when you go in here there's nothing blank so what you could do is you can just so i've imported the cpp logo and what you want to do is you when you see the star thing that means it needs to be saved so just press Control s or just save it when that goes away you can now build risk code and now you can see that now we have this cpp logo thing right here so what we can do now is we can create a new texture so i'm going to do texture of type texture equals and i'm going to do cpp logo and you can see that now that compiles nicely because this is now in here within our assets folder what you can also do is if you want to create a folder because i don't want just my things lying around here it's going to get messy you can create a new folder and we're going to call this images I'm going to move my CPP folder inside of here in my images folder and in here, make sure that's saved. And then we build risk code again. Uh, we're getting an error because I need to comment this out because that doesn't exist anymore. So build risk code. If we go into verse now, yeah, now we have this images, which is a module. And this just means that now when we go back in here, instead of doing cpp logo we need to do the name of our folder which in this case is images do images.cpp logo and now we've properly referenced that so what that allows me to do is i can now import a bunch of images in here so for example i've imported the uefn logo okay and then build verse code after saving and when i go back you can see that uefn logo is now there we can and now that's ready for to use as a texture this is just some code that adds this air widget to a canvas so nothing too fancy but what i want you guys to pay attention to is this new texture block widget so this is a new widget type which allows us to put in our textures and have them displayed within our canvas you can see i've created a new texture block called texture underscore block and to initialize this we need to set this default image to our texture this is required so make sure you have a texture up and running and we've set that to our default image and then we can set set the default desired size which i believe is in pixels so we have 300 by 300.0 then i just add that widget to my texture to canvas do just our standard stuff you notice that now we have our c plus plus logo which is wherever we put it and whatever we specified our desired size cool but you also notice that we have the ability to do that with meshes so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make I'm going to include my modeling tools just to show and I'm just going to create, I don't know, stairs, except, and you're going to see that, well, whenever you make something with the modeling tools, it makes a meshes folder, but I can actually save this. And then if I build this code, you can see that now we have this meshes module with my stairs thing. And if I say, well, that's an ugly name. I don't want to remember that. What you can do, we'll just. Uh, rename this by pressing F2, just call it only upstairs or something. I don't know. Make sure that's saved. Build risk code. You can see only upstairs like that. Now, this doesn't just apply to the modeling tool modules. You can import your own uh, meshes so long as they say static mesh down here. You can see it needs to say static mesh. And what that allows you to do with a mesh, if you go into creative underscore prop, and what you can do with a mesh is you can set the mesh of a creative during runtime so you just pass in the mesh and you've now set the mesh of a creative prop pretty cool yeah that's pretty much it for that as always i hope this was helpful and yeah